The season that we're developing, as I say, is called Fed Up, which is why we've got the hashtag, and it's all about the future of food um, and where our food's going to come from. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, with some experts that we've got here. People have been thinking quite a lot about protein and food, but the most interesting thing for me is watching people do things they've never done before. If that's eating an insect, if it's even looking at a gold-covered grasshopper and a chocolate base, the faces and the kind of engaged curiosity that they bring to it has been amazing to watch. We think that by getting people to think about the sources of their food and to broaden out their taste, to try things they haven't otherwise, they'll enjoy it more, they'll think about it more, and they'll think about the science that's involved in it also. I'm Jenny Josephs, I'm from Southampton and I'm the founder of The Bug Shack. The Bug Shack is a startup company, um, so we like to talk to people about why insects are good for the environment, for their health and for animal welfare reasons. Um, and also get people to try things even if they're a little bit unsure. If you breed insects for animal feed, you can create this kind of circular economy where instead of growing crops to feed cows, you can use waste stuff from farming and from restaurants and from households, feed that to insects, and then the insects will be fed to chickens and pigs instead of us growing crops. So it just kind of saves this whole waste of resources that goes on in the middle. My dad told me about this and I've been interested in like possibly going down the biomedical research route for my career and I thought if I came to this it would give me more of an idea whether that's really what I want to do. Uh, today here in the museum we're doing a sort of uh, a taste workshop, like experimenting with taste and uh, your perceptions and senses. Uh, we've ate bugs and we've spelt, uh, we've, we've tried like pure taste and then also how we learn about the difference between uh, taste and uh, flavour. But yeah, we've tried different kinds of insects, also how your senses sort of change the way you feel. Oh, it's a oh. Yeah. It's like to make you think about what your perception is. I mean, I showed you the live meal one. It's, it's almost as if you're not actually eating an insect because it's, it tastes like chocolate and it's covered in gold, so it's sort of like... Um, yeah, it's like eating a piece of chocolate, really. I was kind of scared to put it in my mouth at first. Strange. It was exciting. <laughs> it was Which did you prefer? The chocolate, yeah. definitely. <laughs> definitely. A lot easier to stomach. People aren't used to it and they think that it would taste bad. They think it's disgusting. Um, so you really have to present it in a way that people are recognised. So I do things like sausage rolls or meatballs that look familiar. Um, and you try and give them a flavour that they recognise as well. I think um, this afternoon I've really enjoyed learning about the different senses involved in different tastes and food flavours. I was really impressed today with the amount of students who didn't hold back and who just jumped in and tried everything first time. I was a bit dubious that people would like to eat insects, but now I've seen that actually for these young guys, they're really into it and they enjoyed it. I think this is just the beginning of the fed up season. Uh, we're really eager to let people try this stuff, uh, to tweet and Instagram their responses, but also just looking at food as this extraordinary place where art and science collide, where young people are in control of the story.